Paging Way is on a fire. Was an engine for an apartment fire. take fire trucks and a police car and the mayor and city council members will all go around to all the neighborhood parties. Um, there's a block capping for each neighborhood we visit and they usually host a party, a barbecue for their surrounding neighbors so they can meet each other, feel comfortable with their neighbors, um, help watch their property when they're out of town, just all kinds of things. So, And they can ask questions of us when we show up with a fire truck. and. Well, we're from the Wyzetta Fire Department, and if you guys have a fire, we're going to come put it out for you, all right? That is yeah. also fun because uh, you get to see oftentimes the really little kids who want to, you know, tour the trucks and see what's going on, and um, the excitement in, in hearing uh, this last time, one woman had been in the neighborhood for 47 years in that same house. Thank you. Well, the fire safety day, we usually have uh, the cops come, we have the ambulance come, we like to put on a demonstration. Uh, sometimes it's a kitchen fire. Last year it was a mock or setup of an extrication where we cut up a car. Um, I just, it's just kind of fun watching the kids run around and have a good time. And um, there's free food at that. Well, favorite one is the Mini Olympics on the 4th of July. We put on the Mini Olympics at the middle school yeah, for, for, it's, uh, for, for kids 12 and under. And they have, we have a softball throw, we have running races, we have a long jump, and for the youngest, we have a money find and a sawdust or sand pit, depending on what we have. So that's on the afternoon of, of July 4th, 1230 at the middle school. But the 4th of July, we have a party at our house, which is a block off of where the kiddie parade is, and my kids grew up in that parade, and we've always been a participant in it. The fire department actually sponsored it for a couple of years, uh, but it's since turned over to the neighborhood, and uh, it's, it's my favorite one. I'm in charge of the um, Light Up the Lake Parade, is it, it's called. So we decorate all of our fire trucks in Christmas decorations, uh, LED lights. Um, Santa gets in our tower truck in the bucket and we light him up like crazy and we drive down Lake Street and hand out candy canes to the kids or and adults, whoever wants one. Um, and we end up at the depot for the lighting of the Christmas tree. Okay, we get paid, um, it's a, we're a volunteer fire department, and, but we're also called a paid on-call fire department, so we get paid an hourly wage for whether we actually go out on a fire call or if we get called to the station and, and if the call gets canceled, we, we get paid for, as if we're turning up, uh, showing up for an hour, for an hour call. And we get paid twice a year, the first Monday in, in June and the first Monday in December. You know, most everything that we do, we get paid for. Okay, so we come, we, uh, we come to a fire call, everybody gets paid, at this point right now it's eleven fifty nine an hour. Okay, so the fire calls are paid by the hour. The drill nights, our average drill night is two hours, so we pay everybody on those drill nights for two hours time. Our business meetings, uh, the average business meeting is about an hour, so we pay everybody for one hour's time on a business meeting. At the end of the year, what we're looking for is we want people, uh, the requirements as far as uh, being present is 50% uh, of the drill nights, 50% of the business meetings, and 25% of the fire calls. If you achieve that during the calendar year, then you are eligible for a year of service, and then uh, you're also eligible for retirement pay of which all comes later on. You have to be, by state law, you have to be 50 years old to take your money. And we have a program where we're vested, at 10 years we're, we're vested 
and at uh, and then you become 100% fully vested at 20 years.